Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is, of course, your regular dose of role news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to dive into a topic that's been brewing beneath the surface of the role drama, a tale of envy, comparison, and a certain someone who can't seem to resist the allure of the spotlight. Yes, you guessed I'm talking about Megan, the master manipulator, whose hideous plot against the royal family has not gone unnoticed, but stop right there. Before we disclose all of the juicy details, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So now, guys, let's cut to the all-important chase here. Now, Meghan and Harry, driven by an insatiable hunger for the spotlight, have made it a habit of playing the victim game against the royal family. Despite leaving the royal fold, they continue to leech onto royal names, desperate for attention and relevance. But today I want to shine a light and a spotlight on someone who effortlessly steals the attention without having to try, Princess Kate, or should I say Catherine of Wales. As King Charles crowned Prince Kate with the Strathmore Rose Tiara, a stunning piece not seen in almost a century, a stark contrast between her and Meghan Markle becoming glaringly obvious now. Meghan, with her millions spent on PR teams and attempts to boost images, can't hold a candle to the elegance and grace displayed by Catherine. The recent state banquet to welcome the president of South Korea showcased Catherine's regal presence. Clad in scarlet coat dresses from Catherine Walker, retailing at £3,000, she looked absolutely gorgeous. The coat featured a prominent bow at the front and she accessorized it with matching red hats by Jane Taylor and heels. But it wasn't just the ensemble, it was the way she carried herself with her long brunette hair. The media buzz around Catherine's appearance is a testament to her grace. While Harry and Meghan pay top dollar for PR stunts, Catherine just needs to step out of the car and have her photos posted around the world. It's her natural grace, of course. It's. And then there's the matter of legs. Meghan, in her pursuit of attention, once claims to have legs as long as a mile, hoping to secure offers to showcase the assets. Yet Catherine's rare glimpse of toned legs showcased as she left the state Bentley speaks volumes. But let's not stop there. The crowning moment, pun intended, was the Strathmore Rose Tiara. Not seen in nearly a century, it was worn by Catherine with unparalleled grace and poise. This tiara, part of the Queen Mother's collection, was a wedding present when she married married Albert, who would later become King George V. The unique name, Strathmore Rose, pays homage to the Queen Mother's father, the Earl of Stratholme. Now, Catherine is only the second person to wear this tiara in public, adding another jewel to her collection. And it already includes the Lotus Flower Tiara and the Cartier Halo Tiara, which she wore on her wedding day. As Charles refers to Catherine as his beloved daughter-in-law, allowing her to wear a tiara that hasn't graced the public eye in almost a century, it's clear where the king's admiration lies. Meghan may be clapping away and building her image on jumbotrons, but the Princess of Wales has effortlessly stolen the show, leaving Meghan's attempts in the dust so what do you guys think about this let us know in the comments and we'll see you all next time for more royal news and analysis bye for now